My first solder on my first little board. Oh, come on, focus. Shouldn't be anything for you to focus on but this. There we go. It's not too bad either. Pretty happy with the solder work. Anyway, on to the next one. Shut up and sit down. Says for this one, you should just bend it like so. I haven't been doing my check marks. I probably should be. So we're gonna try and bend it like so. There we go.
I can't get a great connection. Oh, come on. Focus. Focus. There we go. Um, I can't get a great connection right here. For some reason, it just doesn't want to flow onto the. Oops, it doesn't want to flow onto these copper. This copper pad that this one's on. Um, it's as flowed onto there as I can get it. It's making connection. It's solid. So, at least, yeah, it's solid enough that it's not going to come out. So, I guess that's the best I can do for that connection. On your electrolytic capacitors. The long lead is usually positive, and the short lead is usually negative. Another way of knowing is that the negative is usually denoted on the side of the capacitor. This is a radial capacitor, meaning that both of the leads are found on the radius of the capacitor. There is a such thing as an axial capacitor, and that is the capacitor that has the leads on the axis of the capacitor, of the circle of the capacitor. So, these are little tiny capacitors. Uh, let's see. Oops. This one is 10 microfarads. Always make sure to check your polarity, too. See that positive right there? That means that this longer lead has to go in there. flowed properly. You probably can't see that. But that one right there, that's in the middle. Yeah, you definitely can't see that. No, you can, you, that's, that's visible. Come on. Focus. Focus. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, you almost had it. You almost had it. Come on. You're focusing on my hand. I know you can focus at this distance. Oh. Come on. Oh, there we go. It finally seated. That one right there. He was not wanting to seat at all. I was having that trouble with these ones over here. This one right here didn't want to seat one of my fingernails. I mean, this gives you also a good com size comparison of what the heck I'm soldering. I mean, my thumb almost encompasses the whole board. I mean, here's a... Oops, I'm zoomed all the way in. I mean, a, a good size comparison. Let's see, I thought I had a quarter over here earlier. Um, I guess I don't. I don't really have anything. That's a good size comparison. Here, here's a, a power bank. Here's how small this circuit is. Okay, next capacitor. C4. And... Boom goes the dynamite. Because <laughs> it's capacitor C4. Get it? Huh. I'm here all week. Actually, I'm here all the time. I live here. Wait a minute. This isn't my world. Yeah, no, that's the way it asked me to put it on. Is that the way it wanted me to put it on? Yep, it sure as heck is. Okay. Just checked. I was just checking. 
with the actual schematic um, about making sure that these two capacitors were in fact connected positive to negative, negative to positive, and they sure are. Okay, if that's what you say, then that's what I'll do. Looks like my nice backdrop's gone away. When you are soldering, come on camera, focus, there we go. Uh, when you're soldering onto these pins, they're silver, they're very silver, very bright colored silver, and you can tell the difference here, kinda. Well, here, let me get my big hand out of there that's holding it, and hold it with something a little bit easier to notice the difference with. Um, but this one is much shinier than these, and it's really cool, because when you're soldering it, I believe it's the resin, you can see it... Whoosh, the rosin, pardon me. Um, you can see it just go right up this pin. And it's really cool to watch it happen. I'm gonna try and keep this z pretty zoomed in here and see if I can capture that happening on one of these next pins, which I believe go here, yes. One goes there. Alright, let's see if you can see the change happen that I was talking about. Pretty sure you can see that. That's pretty neat. Moving right along. There we go.
and uh, I'm pretty sure that that means that I've got a microphone amplifier right here. Wow. Alrighty, well, there's only one way to find out if it works. That's to plug in something to it. Alrighty, so part of this process is also going to be to hook to be hooking up these guys in here. So, I gotta pop this guy open. One, see what space I have to work with in here to be able to put two of these guys in here, plus a battery pack and all the power requirements, all that jazz, you know, the fun stuff. Anyway, just going through some ideas of where I want to put these things, so, yeah, let's test out this mic amp. Um, that's what I actually opened this up for, so that I could attach an input to this, to this guy. <laughs> okay, so here's a moment of truth. Um, I don't have anything plugged into the amplifier yet. However, I guess I should probably have that plugged in. I don't know if this has any plug-in protection. I'm guessing it probably doesn't, but I'm hoping that it does. So, we'll just plug it in now so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, we'll plug that in there. We'll plug in this to our test microphone. Just a dynamic microphone. I don't have the Phantom working on this yet. Um. We got our resistor all the way down. Uh, we have our a little speaker over here that I have hooked up to an output cable. Uh, core intact. Well, nothing blew up. Nothing's. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, where's my? There's my players. I'd rather touch this with players than anything else. I don't know if having that exposed to the circuit would be bad, but I'd rather not have it. Alrighty. 12 volts is being applied. 12 volts DC. I got it plugged in the right way. Let us plug in our speaker. Oh my goodness. Testing, testing. Oh. Oh my goodness. Let me turn that up just a little bit. Testing, 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 one, two, testing, 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 testing. Um, now I had this circuit, or this, uh, this one picture up of where to connect things. This one. I've seen the ground and the negative being connected up to the same connection. This is the drawing that I'm looking at here. Sorry for the cracked screen. But, um... I've seen the, uh, the ground and the negative jumper just like that with the positive on, off on its own. So I'm going to try just grounding this plug and see if I get anything. I turn it down.
Okay, so that stops it. Testing one, two. Oh, hey, look at it, it works. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna power this down. Now, if I plug this in, does it start making that signal right away? No. It's pretty quiet. I turn it on. Oh, it's very quiet. I plug it in. Test, 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 test. Oh, you know what? This potentiometer is just not right for this at all. Is it? Not one bit. I'll have to look at it. It's logarithmic. Testing, testing, testing. T or it's not logarithmic. It's um, linear, isn't it? <sighs> I'm so... Alrighty. Actually, I should probably unplug that before I do anything else. Um, so, I'm actually just gonna get rid of this potentiometer real quick. Put in the real one and see what that's supposed to sound like. Alrighty, so now I put in the real, the real deal. Uh, okay, um, start off with the mic being plugged in. And where is my screwdriver, my little tiny one that I've been using to adjust the gain? Oh, here it is. I don't know if this is all the way up, all the way down. I have no way of knowing right now. Okay. Plug her in. Test, 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 test. Okay, so that's all the way down. Testing one, two. Okay, so, uh, Obviously, this is either on or off, as far as I'm concerned. That's what it seems like right now. Um, because this, the second I touch this gain knob, it, it, it's just full gain through the little microphone. Alrighty, it, it's working. That's the biggest ha happiness so far, is that it's working. I mean, there's really no reason for it not to be, but, um, let's see if I try this up. Okay, yep, it just has quite a bit of gain. Testing, one, two, testing, 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 Oh my god, now it's just noise, that's nothing. Wow, well then, okay, uh, so we figured out that it kind of works, but I think... We'll take that out, turn it off. And so far, that looks like it's working pretty good. I don't think I have it going out to the right level of object. Um, that's expecting line level, and it's giving it way more than I think what it's supposed to give. I don't know, though. It feels like it's it's got no gain range, so I'll have to try it out with a, a different output, sending it to a mixer, seeing if that can handle it seeing what all it will ask for. Anyway, yeah, I guess that's it for now.